What's up, everyone? I'm uh, cutting these uh, standard super steaks. Uh, doing it back here on the manual lathe. Uh, CNCs are uh, pretty booked with uh, way more important parts than uh, cutting some drivers. So uh, it ain't bad doing it manually, anyways. It doesn't take that take that long at all. Uh, once you get set up and get going and that, uh, there's nothing real special to the super steak driver. Uh, like right there on the bridge port. Uh, it can also do the, the Wolfang driver, but uh, it's a little uh, sketchy because it's not inside an enclosed area. And you got the cutting wheel cutting the slots in them. But it's a super steak one. Ain't that bad at all to do back here on the manual lathe. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay a couple of them down and, uh, for all of you to watch. I got my. Uh, stand here with my phone on it uh, wedged <laughs> in the tailstock. <laughs> so first we're going to come in and clean the front. We don't want no uneven. You don't want that to be uneven or it's gonna, you know, cause issues inside the super steak. So, gotta cut that through. inside that super steak. Burgers get hot when they land on you sometimes. It's nice about the CNC, it's all cool when it I made my very first super steak for myself. Got tired of buying them. And now I've been rather spoiled with all the CNCs, but. Back here, we normally use all this stuff back here to just make fixtures for them while they're in operation with another part. But today, I am making drivers with the machine. So we got about 10 more thousands to go here, and then we're going to check it.
leave five grand on because I hit it with the die grinder to just smooth it out a little bit. And that takes some off. So we're gonna check it. So we're at 0.497. Here's the super stake end right here. You can see it's it's real stiff going on there. And I don't like it like that. Like I mean it goes on, but I mean it's dragging on there. And sometimes these castings on these are even smaller. So I found the 0.478. 478 thousandths of an inch is like the the nice sweet spot. I've, I've not found a super stick that sticks on it and it's not a ton of wobble room. get to the back here this is my last cut I'm gonna do so what I'm gonna do is I'm now I'm gonna taper this you don't want to leave it a straight edge cut there that's how they snap off easier Now it's nice and free, and it's not a lot super wobbly on there, but it's nice and free. It'll stay free after it's heat treated. It'll be nice and strong to keep from mushrooming out there. Cracker free. Pour out. And there you go. Super steak driver. I really wish I had my hex material so I can just do this all today and just be done. But uh I'm gonna be up here without knocking you down. Like I said, I wish I had that uh, hex material because I got all the round cut up for the standard here. And uh, it gets heat treated too. I just send it all off to be heat treated instead of just, you know, having one non heat treated and that. But this is what I consider my standard. And uh, then I'll get a nut in the washer on the end. And, uh, but yeah, that's doing it manually. Uh, it is, uh, you get rather spoiled. Uh, you do it in the CNC. Saw that took a few minutes there, uh, but take about 15 seconds in the CNC to do it. Uh, I could use a different cutter here and go ahead and 
water more off each pass, change my spindle speed here and that, but I'm in no big hurry today or anything, and uh, I'd rather enjoy sitting back here and taking my time and doing it anyways than that. I like to take the die grinder to it just so that way I make sure there's no sharp edge on there. Because after it's heat treated, it's not going to wear that easily. And then plus, I like to make sure it's nice and smooth going in and out. Like I said, there is some movement. You don't want too much or it causes your tips to bend prematurely. And you don't want them super snug because one, then when it goes out the heat treat too, that it might be distorted a couple grand. So if I only left a couple thousands of room there, then uh, we're looking into some trouble now because it's not gonna get your super steak on it. And plus if it's super snug right off the bat, it's gonna start sticking a lot quicker. Even heat treated after so long and that, it will start to deform. And uh, I'm not one of the people that's gonna say like, you can't beat these things up. And uh, I've broken them, I've snapped the tips off, I've bent the tips, I've bent the entire shafts of the standard and the HD. Uh, I tend to be pretty rough on my stuff, though. And uh, I use earth anchors where you should use drags because it's just solid rock road, but <laughs> I like to, I like to test it out anyways and uh but yeah that's what i'm gonna finish up doing here <laughs> 